What's up? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome. We are live, sort of. Good morning. Shortish, rapid, weird opening stream today. I've got a challenge here from someone. Ah. Uh, Replunge Bansal. Silly asked me, <clears throat> you say, it's all fun and games <clears throat> until someone loses an eye, as they say, like running with scissors. All right, <clears throat> read Punch Bansal. It's all fun and games until they start bringing the lawyers out. Yeah. All right, replunge. <clears throat> Seven plus five, unusual opening stream. Boom, first game of the day. No computers. I'll put NC, that's what Chess Life used to do. NC. But computer is so passe now. It's like apps, engines. No one says computers. So what are we gonna play? The Fred? <clears throat> Just kidding. Mmm. Fildor Counter Gambit? What other interesting stuff could we play? Nothing special here. We can play the, the Latvian, which I think I might have played against him once before. He plays always the Joko Piano, so if I play an Italian game, if I play Knight C6, it's Bishop C4. It's cool to have fun against that. James West defense with F5. I could have played the elephant, I just remembered. I'm sure I played the elephant already <clears throat> against you. Philodorus counter gambit. Well, actually, I don't know if Philidor played it. Some people refer to it as the Philidor Counter Gambit, but it, it may have not actually been employed by Philidor. That's the question. So the main line is definitely takes on e5, but this is a move. Um, I guess my question would be, why can't I play pawn takes e4? Ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer, right? <clears throat> well, pawn takes e4, knight g5, that's, that's the answer, I guess. As I said, ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer. Okay, so pawn takes there. Pawn takes e4, he has knight g5. I guess black could play bishop e7 here. I mean, it's a legal move. If knight f6, you definitely get things happening with, with knight g5. The knight f6, knight g5. Knight f6, knight g5, queen e7. B7 doesn't feel right. 
Well, nothing's right. I mean, this is this is not a good opening for Black, despite the fact that James West wrote a hundred articles about it. I've never tried to play it, even in the stream. I don't think. Queen F six, another interesting move, kind of like Laffian themed. Makes some sense. Queen F six. While we're on the theme, if if knight g five, I can play knight h six. That would be my guess. Bishop g eight is rarely good. Just just saying. Welcome everybody to my stream. Please donate and subscribe. Donate to our World Senior Fund. I'm going, hopefully, if we raise enough money to Sicily in October, try to become the world champion. 50 plus. Um, yeah, good morning, though. I had a Mitch McConnell freeze. Pawn takes e5. Um, I have an answer for that. This looks really bad for black. <clears throat> What other move do I have besides besides queen f6 here? It's got to be something more fundamental. I mean, why didn't I take on e4 and then just do the obvious, you know? Seriously, pawn takes e4, knight g5, knight h6. I was... I don't know. I mean, that's still got to be the right move. I should, should take on e4. I talked myself out of it. Pawn takes e4, knight g5, knight h6. It's a playable position. Um, oh, there's also pawn takes, um, sorry. There's another move, pawn takes e4, knight g5, d5. Yeah, so queen f6 is definitely a mistake. It's definitely not the best move. I have to take on, it looks like I have to take on e4 there. I like how Repunch was like, he, pl he plays, he says bishop c4 looks interesting, and then he played it. You need to commentate your moves before you play them. There's like no one here anyway. <clears throat> Wednesdays are um, our bad streaming day, at least in the morning. I don't really don't understand it. Camels can explain it. All right, <clears throat> now. Is it possible to play queen g6? There seems to be a problem with that, sadly. The problem with queen g6 is knight h4. <laughs> and then I would have to do something crazy like trade queens with queen g4. I mean, there's worse positions in life, but, um, hmm, is it worth going out on a limb with with queen g6 queen g4 <clears throat> trade queens take with the f the, the f pawn if I take on d6 e5 then bishop g5 I have to trade queens anyway with queen d6 so maybe we'll go for it. I'm only down a pawn. No big deal. What? Pawn takes d6 played quickly. 
that's a strange thing to do quickly. You thought for five minutes on on pawn takes e5, and then you you play like pawn takes d6 immediately. That's really weird. I didn't understand the point with pawn takes d6. Black has like a million moves now. Bishop takes d6, pawn takes e4, and queen takes g2. I guess queen g2, rook g1 looks pretty dynamic for white, so... It's either recapture or take on e4. There is some... Um, there's an 85. Pawn e4 and 85. Maybe process elimination comes in handy here. Pawn e4 and 85. So I, I, I think bishop takes d6. Nineteen sixty eight learning chest like rating. Who else was the nineteen hundred lately that's really strong? Um someone else. Wow, I mean this doesn't look that bad. Things could be worse. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, it is what it is. So I guess this way, you know, he can meet like bishop f5 with knight h4 or something. I expected knight g5. <clears throat> Maybe bishop g4. Is not a bad idea. Bishop f5. Knight h4. Bishop g4. Knight e4, knight e4. Hmm. So it's hard to find a move here. always with my king to d8 it's very very likely that's going to happen or f8 <clears throat> i guess but um or d7 i would have liked to have castled the queen side but i don't think we're gonna have time for that Jucio. Jucilio. It looks like a good Jucilio. And he, he why do you type in comments while you're playing a game? That's weird, dude. Wow. H3, who would play H3 there? Why didn't I take your knight? 
I don't know, man. I'm down to nine seconds. Can you play any more perfect? I thought we said no C. I don't know how you play any more perfect, dude. You come back and you play perfect. There's nothing suspicious about that. I like the other game, it was highly suspicious. This is a terrible position. Why do people insist on doing that, you know? <clears throat> All right. I'm still alive. Barely. Till the trap closes. Oh, you had that move. Well, let's see the analysis board. Perfect game, right? That's why you're 1900. I don't know what to say, man. And you type in comments while you're playing as well. Like, why? Wow. Must be like FIDE 2300 or something. This was a gimme though. I like H3 the best. That's gotta be my favorite move of the game. Like who would play H3 there? It is a bad move according to the engine. Your position is so good you can do anything. My best move is Knight C6 now, of course. I mean, H3 is like a troll move. I don't understand. Nobody in their right mind would play that move. I have to. My best move is knight c6. I don't know why I give you the satisfaction of, of letting this letting this be, you know. How does white have 47 cent upon loss? Can someone explain that to me? This guy who made three inaccuracies and one mistake, how would you possibly have 47 cent upon loss? Because you, you could have won a whole rook and you didn't or something? White played a basically perfect game. Apparently there was one mistake. <coughs> H3, which is only plus three. Very bad game. Enhanced chess. Well, it was a nice, it was enjoyable playing your enhanced chess with you. All right, I enjoyed the comments, especially. Schumacher. I like the Tartikover enhanced chess game better. No, 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 we've got to play weird openings today. Bishop e7. No, I mean, the Fildar counter gambit is really bad, and even if you know it, it's still bad, but I don't even know it. So I'm going to get destroyed by everybody in that opening. It's amazingly bad for black. It's not even, like, tricky or anything. It's just, like, just bad. It's like, it makes the, Shlim it makes the Latvian look good. Knight f3. You're going to play knight f3 trying to get me to transpose to normal openings. Oh my god. Whew. 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not ready for this yet. No kingside space. This is just passive and bad. So this isn't weird opening stream, it's bad opening stream. How how bad how bad can I play? Just about four. Not that appropriate. It's the London. London like. Shubika refuses to play E4. It's like clearly White's best move. I gotta get in the mood here. Not in the mood yet. <clears throat> Guys, I have an. Oh, I only have an hour left? An hour? Hour. Night H5. Mm, I don't really like Night H5 in this position. I guess I could follow up with F5. Play it like a Dutch. I just keep getting worse and worse. Too creative. <clears throat> we could play the Dutch, although I know Schumacher likes Bishop F4 against the Dutch. Well, I mean, I do the stream for fun, G Souths. So, just for something different. You know, I'm not objectively, you know, trying to be fancy to be fancy. I try to experiment with weird openings. <clears throat> Sometimes it goes a little bit too far. This, this, this Philidor Counter Gambit was just something I haven't played. And, um, and now this, I forgot. You know, I forgot on move two that I was playing weird openings. So then I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? If you want to play a weird opening here, it's kind of hard, you know, like what's back going to play? I could be, maybe play knight c6. So I decided to play bishop b7. I expected e4, and then I would play d5, but he does knight f3. Now what am I supposed to play? d5 transposes the queen's gambit, so I castled. You know, I'm sort of stuck. Now the idea is f5. <clears throat> So we'll just think of it as a Dutch, where I played knight h5 to trap his bishop. Which may be not that ridiculous. Knight c6. Shoot my hair. Let me guess. You're going to play queen c2 next. Fifty months. Fifty months of juice box wizard. Although you haven't been here that much. You're here and you're gone for long periods of time. <clears throat> but I do remember fifty months that's damn dude. That's a long time. But who's fifty months? You? Who just subscribed? Nobody subscribed. Hey, thank you, nobody, for subscribing. He plays queen e2. And now... 
what else would we do, right? He wants to castle queenside. What about f4? That's a stupid move. G south points to the diagonal. Of course, this is like White's favorite diagonal anyway. Four years, two months. <sighs> Sounds like a jail sentence, man. Um, to me, that's not cool. Hanging knights. We've got to we've got to justify knight knight before. Hanging knights. You don't like those hanging knights. Too dogmatic. I would think quite a while on this move. I think I've been here more than six years, though. Jesus Christ. More like six years. The COVID pandemic just basically stopped time or something. I don't know, man. Everything got messed up because of COVID. Oh, double bishops. Two for one sale. How could you give me your light square bishop? That's insane. That is like the best piece you got. You have to play bishop e1 there. It's not even a question. That's like forced. It's literally forced. The one on g3, you know, I probably ought to take it as well, but it's not as good. My god, man. My god. My friend. I have this friend. Actually, Schumacher is from Serbia. I have another friend from Serbia. He must speak a little German because he's always like, My friend! Alright. E5 doesn't work. <clears throat> C5. Bishop d7. Well, I mean, you know, it's a normal position. Queen e8. Case great. Queen e8, f4. Queen e8, e4, f4. Bishop d7 connecting the bishops. You still blame Al Qaeda. Well, I mean, that's, that's something that maybe you were more directly affected by, being in the military. I, um, you know, I wasn't ever in the military, so. I was in another, another life for 9-11. That was my first life. Oh no, you were being facetious. Okay. Well, anyway, um, that was a lifetime. That was a different lifetime for me, literally. My life is divided into parts and that was like a totally separate part. Bishop D7, I just can't believe how long I've been streaming. You know, I was looking at my like poker results, thinking about how I was playing poker full time before streaming. And, and it seems like just yesterday, it was like 2013, 10 years ago. That's 10 years ago, 10 years, 3,650 days. So let's say 10, 10 years ago, 2013, then I started streaming in like 2016. And we can check and see when my account was created. Maybe it was 2015. You see, I lose track of years. Tarkover! E4 is a good move, homie. And if I play F4, you have E5. Here we go with the time again. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
All right, I'm going to take. I think taking is principled. Bishops versus knights. That's a sign. It's a sign. Wow. G South saying, I remember being here was on your first stream. Really? Wow. Seriously? Should be a founder. Founder, I guess, only counts for, you know, when I started taking subscriptions like a year later. Um, Queen takes e4. Whoa. Not what I expected. So it must have been 2015, which really disturbs me. But I can attack the center, block my own f, f file. Queen e8. Rook h6, I mean rook f6. Queen e8. Intuition. Int is intuition good enough? Man, I don't know. Like, you guys are awfully good. <sighs> too good. Too fast, too good. Damn. We could be in Keto. Jesus. Are you threatening me? I don't get these guys. They're 1900 and they're just like crushing me with perfect play. I don't know, man. It's just too much, dude. You guys are too good. I hate to say it, but it's suspicious. To beat me, you have to be suspicious. <sighs> I'm just lost. Can't wait to see a CPL on this too. Perfect play. That's why they're 1900. I don't get it, man. I mean, Repunj and, and Schumacher too. Why are you guys 1900 if you're like perfect? It's weird. Perfect. I mean, 1900 is good, but it's not like you play perfectly with no set upon loss, generally. Damn, dude, I'm just getting, like, destroyed here. Maybe I have chances to draw. I mean, objectively, his extra pawn has doubled, you know, but as soon as I start getting optimistic, it's usually my downfall. I mean, what a plan, you know, who expected queen takes e4 instead of knight takes e4? All along, I'm expecting knight takes e4. Suddenly, he plays queen takes e4, and then maneuvers his knight back to e2 and f4 using, like, no time. That's not that, that obvious, you know? That's a subtle plan. Seriously. Who expects that? I wonder if I should have played rook e8 instead of rook c8 and just like give him my c pawn in exchange for the b pawn. Probably not. How about b5? Hmm. I wanted to play c6. Then I changed my mind to b5. I know learning chess, c6 is the, is the totally, like, standard move there. 
obviously. Rook C1 looks like a mistake. Even if he loses, I still say he played the first 20 moves, like, perfectly. Look at this move. Excellent move. Knight D4. <sighs> Holy shit. Black equalizing. Denzel Washington, the equalizer. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, maybe I can lose a pawn. I did. So I still managed to be down a pawn. That's pretty incredible. My bishops are great now. With the great bishops, I have compensation for the pawn. Sadly, just, just, just compensation for the pawn. Just, just, just. Knight, knight fortress. Knight lock. Wow, I started hallucinating. He's panicking. He panicked. What happened? He was like, okay, I'm just going to give Sanji the game now. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was good. Strangely, this position has actually been played. My god. Wow. Unbelievable. After move 7, the position has been reached. And Black actually won the game. This is not a great Dutch. I, I just can't believe you would give me your life score bishop. And then, and then you're still killing me after that. Computer hates taking on g3. Okay, fine. But what am I going to do, you know? I guess I understand it. It's like, the point is, I, I hadn't thought of this, this, but he can never play e4 because the bishop gets trapped. So it behooves me not to take the bishop on g3 because that lets him play e4. And now he's better again. I didn't want to play f4 because of e5 and white is better, um, I thought, so I took. And this move, I mean, this killed me. I expecting, I expecting knight takes e4. But he plays queen takes e4 with the idea of this. I mean, that shit is like really smart, man. Unbelievable. Rook f e1. I was expecting the other rook. And now white is clearly better. Queen e8, and then knight e2. Is there some problem with knight e2? I had b5 right away, probably. I should have played more dynamically. I have, like, a chance here to go ad aggressive. I was too passive after, after knight e2. Yeah, g5 I looked at. Obviously, it was the first thing I thought of. But this is a blunder, I thought. Oh my god, I have g5. Wow. So b5 right away. Yeah, good game. But I don't understand why you lost. I mean, it's... Even the final position. Why did, why did he lose on time? He just felt bad for me or something. He decided to lose on time. After the first game, I appreciate it. Shoot my pair of five inaccuracies, no mistakes, no blunders. Slaggy, three inaccuracies, one mistake, no blunders. I'm just not awake enough yet. Alright, guys. Thanks for being subscribers. Hiroku.
Um, I'm never going to play the Fildark Counter Gamut again. What else did we learn today? I'm obviously not here to play ridiculous openings. Always go aggressive. Hmm. <clears throat> General. Well, it's it, it's better to be aggressive than than passive. It's always good to be on the aggressive side. To try to take the initiative, of course. Um. Yeah, let's play the Nims a bitch. Hmm. Well, what, what's interesting about this? What can I do here? This. I'm not just transposing back to something normal. I mean, the main line is d5, but that's like practically a standard standard opening. Okay, it's still it's it's a Nimzovich. I played this once with white. I guess takes, takes, d4 I had with white. One game. The only game I've ever faced Nimzovich in a tournament game. <clears throat> Big Bill. As the Uber driver would say. Um, that move... I guess we have to go here. We learned that F35s are literally just immediate distraction. Relevant. Relevance factor? All right. Well, he took and played knight g5, attacking f7. No, you're talking about F7s. G-Sox was just talking about F15s, and we're talking F7s here. If Knight C6, he pins me with Bishop B5. Oh, the F35? Oh, that was the, the Marine that crashed or whatever? Today? Another plane crashed? I thought you were talking about the lost plane from the other day. There, there's another plane crash? Another military plane? I didn't read the news yet. Um, oh no, it was like, yeah, it was like a day ago. I think it's more like, it's more like a day and a half ago now. You're, it's alright. Just the one. They had trouble finding the remains, right, of the plane that the pilot ejected. I don't understand how that could be possible. It's like... How you would have trouble finding the remains? Wouldn't it be like on some sort of radar or something? That's bizarre. I don't understand how that works, but... The 21st century, we shouldn't lose track of like military jets flying over our own airspace. I would think, but, you know. Queen d5. Modern technology. I mean, people can put, like, air tags. They should have put an air tag on it and tracked it like their luggage at the airport or something. You don't think an air tag would have survived the crash? <laughs> it could have been like tracking it up until the last possible second, though. I don't get it, man. How could they not know where where an airplane crashed? Seriously, is that is that like made up? I mean, how 
How could they not know where the wreckage is? You know what I mean? Wouldn't there be, like, radar tracking until the last few moments? I mean, they would at least have, like, a really good idea. D3. Fully sound opening. It's hard to keep track of your airplanes if you if you can't track them or something. How do they know where they are? How do they know where they are in general? I mean, can you round up an F thirty five for me? Like I was also surprised by when that's submersible, they couldn't, I you know, find the the wreckage, or at least have an idea where it is, you know. This is really psycho play by White. Having trouble focusing. My autism must be flaring up. I literally am having trouble focusing. I'm gonna take this pawn on B2. Subtle. Subtle Tico. All right. What do you want to do? Knight C6 or Bishop D7? I think Knight C6 makes more sense. You can have a pawn back. Break back. <laughs> See, that's why you should buy, like, you know, modern, um, classic American cars are better than the new ones. I'll take a Cadillac Eldorado. I'm really slow. I'm slow today. Retrograde. We should donate like biplanes to Ukraine. World War One bombers. There was this news story today that I just didn't really understand. Okay, does anybody understand this? There was a story that said some sort of strike in Sudan linked to Ukraine strike in in Sudan against against uh against like paramilitaries or something was like linked to Ukraine I was like I'm sorry I mean I guess it's like against the the Wagner group or whatever but I was like what like Ukraine is is operating in in Sudan now or what like how does that make sense that that's a real news story Knight takes h7. Ukraine has has a presence in Sudan. Okay, well that makes sense. Sudanese Ukrainians. Man, knight takes h7 is just wild. I appreciate Heroku 
going on the weird Gone on the weird path when they take H seven. On the weird path. Battle of the Switch and Zugs. Right, right. Plenty of beach reading. I don't know, man. Knight F8. That's not going to fly. Speaking of F-15s, sadly, Knight of Fate is in lockdown. It's on lockdown. Your opponent proposes a take back. <laughs> okay, okay. Knight of Fate is not great. What? You want you want to go all the way back? Oh, he resigned. Well, that's an option too. Um, but again, I don't understand. I keep not understanding things today. I mean, this position isn't good, but. Knight H7 was, was a take back. But you're still, like, in the game. I mean, you shouldn't resign. Minus two isn't resigns. Viking beer. I gotta go for a walk and do some grocery shopping. Wednesday's slow. 12 viewers, 14 viewers, guys, donate. Be the first to cheer this week. Come on. Be the first to follow. Viking Beer, get on the board. So nice bass you got there. You know, and I bet that Clancy could write 5,000 novels. Could probably crank out another 5,000. No problem. What would he do with all that money? <clears throat> um, you think the guy would be like a billionaire by now? Being a best-selling author and writing like millions of novels should probably pay a handsome profit. Chess novels, not big sellers. Okay, so we got the Polish defense, nice, nice, I like it, I like it. Critical line. Classically, uh, bishop e5, bishop e4, knight f3, castles, knight f3, knight f6, knight f3, knight f6, castles. And I know like c4 or something is, is considered to be a line. The problem is that black has the central majority of pawns, so if white doesn't do something, then black will eventually have kind of like a superiority in the center. Now you're trading your central pawn for a B pawn. That's like a long-term gain for black. I don't think A6 is a usual move. And I guess the problem with A6 
is is not bishop e2 you know or bishop c4 or bishop d3 but we have to go to a4 where the bishop remains like vigilant <clears throat> you could theoretically play like bishop c6 i guess if you wanted to but white has some advantage pretty good advantage here but the polish is playable Did you know that the world is like running out of helium? Helium's somehow a byproduct of of nuclear reactions or something. Don't fully understand that. Okay, rookie one. Helium more stable than hydrogen. doesn't go kaboom so we got <clears throat> ideas with the bishop on a4 there are ideas some tactical ideas wow hyper hyper modern cool I guess I can always play Queen E2, try to paralyze you. Not all that impressive, though, you know, Queen E2. <clears throat> G6. Alright, we're going to go for D5. Go for. D5 a strategic threat. Problem night. Problem night is the problem night. You've got to get your problem night out. Well, the obvious thing to do is yes, d6, exactly. Problem night leads to problem, other problem. Problem square. The alternative to d6 would be maybe c6 or a5. You can have an implanted device on C6 if you like. Implants. Bishop C6. Hello. Deep deep outposts deep inside the opponent's camp. Rare earth metals. What do you guys think about mining stocks? Should we go with mining stocks? 
Knight takes c6. e7 goes. But it's hard to choose a square for the queen now, huh? I recommend e8. Juicebox Wizard is like, move first, think about it later. I love how he played this. Although, I don't know what to recommend, honestly. I mean, it really didn't matter. I guess you could play like rook b8 and put your queen on a8 or something. At the end of the day, he, he just didn't really have any other options anyway, so. Sadly, I, I don't seem to be able to trap his queen. But I can win his queen. I get two pawns and a queen for rook and knight. Is that good? But I do have to trade most of my developed pieces off. On the downside, all my developed pieces are gone, almost. So it's too much material. Material. But I mean, I admit, like, you have a nicely developed force there. What's left of it? H3, anyone? Never underestimate a cornered animal. Is that a good move? Can't go G4 here. I can't tell if it's thunder or someone like rolling something down the street. Look, it says sunny. See full forecast. What the heck? Nadjan Magash. Oh, there's a very high pollen count today. Whoa. Sharga. Yellow pollen warning. It's funny, my allergies, uh, haven't been that bad. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I've got time for at least one more challenge. We're going to leave a little bit early today. But it's good to see you, subscribers and friends. Juicebox Wizard, Acerbate, Rook C8, not great move. Black's down too much material. It's hard to salvage this. Basically, he's lost. I mean, he has a Rook and a piece for Queen and Queen and a Pawn. It's not enough. Very easy for White. The pawn structure is shot. Juice Bucks was there 1848, by the way. 1848, that's a respectable rating you've gone up to. I didn't realize you'd gotten so high. It's based on 11 games, which is not a joke. So if you have more time, you can play pretty well. Miro. Yeah, keep playing long games, juice box. Don't don't fall into the blitz trap, you know, like everyone else. You don't have to play blitz. It's 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 really like not important. Hey Zero, alright. This may be our last game today. I've gotta go in like twenty minutes. But I wanna make it a good one. Now we're warmed up. Blitz bad. Bullet worse. If you just played rapid chess, I think it would be like perfect. Rapid and classical, rapid and classical. Uh fast rapid. 
you know, something like this, 10-0. Let's say let's 10, if you played in and you trained and 10-0 is your fastest time control, there's no need to play faster than that unless you're playing in a blitz tournament. I mean, all right. <coughs> weird, weird hybrid. Sit drum. I had the same game against Ruin yesterday. It was funny. Crab. <clears throat> the crab. Crab you. F5. So if I play a5, do you mind? Crab claws. King crab. How's the Alaskan king crab? No, no fishing this year, I guess. I guess Hayes here wanted to play the the bird Larson type of thing. <clears throat> I wish we had like red lobster. Red lobster Hungary. Preventing E4. I should have played E4 when I had the chance. It's just a King's Indian attack with uh, with A4, A5. Don't forget you have Bishop B4 check, okay? <laughs> you can win a pawn. <clears throat> Rumination would do this sometimes in the in the Kings of the End, just like randomly play A4, A5. Different position, but. Like, honestly, it's an interesting game, and I think it's it's totally valid to play A4, A5. Um, but what is my plan? What is his plan? You're playing the Dutch, I'm playing the Kings Indian. This is what happens when they collide. Kings Indian versus Dutch. I always thought Kings Indian was better. Kings Indian versus Hedgehog is definitely good, good for me. You can't play the Hedgehog against the Kings Indian attack. I learned that pretty early on. I was around 20... 2200 when I realized that that doesn't work here it's it's not like I can attack with f4 f5 so I think it's okay for black that's why our a4 a5 is so critical see that's funky man that that definitely looks funky something rotten in in Copenhagen here First of all, I can play a6 in some inconvenient moment, but also I can break your center with e4, or maybe try to hit that e6 pawn. But maybe it's harder than uh, than it looks. But it definitely looks it definitely looks suspicious. Oh man. 85 is is a funny move, but I don't think it'll it'll matter. He'll just attack it or something like 95 bishop d6, knight d4 queen d7, knight d4 queen d7, 
e4 e4 f4 d4 knight e4 I mean I could go for structure but there's a lot of calculation here Juice box wizard. Wait. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, sure. But I mean, a six isn't a normal move, right? I mean, you played this like weird move, a six. That that doesn't seem like a typical move to me. Is that really played? But is a6, is that a move that's been played? It's a new move, okay. My assumption is that it's not good, but um, maybe it's not that bad. You know, that's the other way to look at it. It's a glass half full, half, half empty kind of thing. So black doesn't have any weaknesses in this position, does he? Damn, I sacked a pawn. They got nothing for it. Are you serious? A6. Oh, I have that move. Clap on, clap off. All right guys, last game, short stream today. ICTs is back. Black should have queen d1 first, uh-huh. Yeah, he's not one to trade, trade queens. It's a matter of his manhood. Alaskans don't trade queens voluntarily. A matter of principle. A6. I never get this A6 working. Do we have to settle for that? I could have played rookie one. Darn it. Darn it! Could have played rookie one. We're gonna try to grind him down now. He, the happy pawn structure. How about that Nigel Short pawn structure quote? Aster B, we need that right now. Modern chess is too concerned with things like pawn structure. Dude, that's the dumbest quote ever. That had to be like from the 90s or something. Pawn structure is, of course, like one of many very vital principles. It should be considered just like everything else, but um, I don't think modern chess is too concerned with pawn structure. No tactics like rook d5 or something, that's good. What's he doing? Does he have an idea here? What are you doing? Yeah, no, this time zone, um, I mean, Wednesday morning stream are my worst. Like, no one comes here except for the hardcore fans. I'm out of here anyway. Um, I just... 
want everyone to know that I'm still alive on Wednesday mornings. And um, we'll be back tomorrow night with the subscriber stream. Polly Cow Yellow. I'm about to sneeze. I saw a weather warning and I was like, what is that? Now it's gone. There was like an exclamation point, one of those red exclamation points on the weather app. I thought, oh my god, it's not thunderstorms. I want to go out and it's pollen count. G5, dude. I don't know what to say. Sigh. I love this A-pawn, though. It just really wants to play a role in this game. It's my best game thus far. I get warmed up around game five, and then I start to lose consciousness around game eight, seven. Games one through three are usually bad. Then, then we've got, like, Game four, game five, game six are good, and then we start going down again. It's just like a typical, like, curve. Bishop takes e4. So is it bishop takes e4? I don't think so. a6 is an interesting move. Now, maybe this is our moment. Wow. A6, knight takes e5, pawn takes b7. That's pretty brutal, dude. Bishop takes a6. Maybe it's not so hot. Wow. I don't know, man. I mean, a6, you can take it. That sort of sucks. Take it or leave it. Bishop c3. Man, look at his pawn structure. Foo, bro. Should I just do bishop takes e4? Then he has knight a5. Oh, there's this dog, man, that lives nearby that's, like, barking all the time down the street. One night it was, like, I had to close the windows and suffocate myself. Poor dog, like, barking all night long. What? What is it? Like, locked outside or something? a6, that's the worst when people, like, lock their dog out on the porch or something in an apartment building. I don't know. Damn it. Orange zesty. I don't think, I think it was too fancy. I mean, probably I should just play bishop takes e4. But then I saw knight a5, actually. See, he has a little bit of a trick in every position. If a6, bishop a6. If, if pawn takes pawn, let's see. I didn't really consider pawn takes pawn, it loses a piece. Uh, if bishop takes e4, knight takes a5 the last minute bugged me. I think I'm not winning, I'm just better. <laughs> oh, there's a nice trick here, wow. Knight d4, bishop takes e4. Not sure how great it is, though, objectively. Knight d4, knight d4 rook takes e4. <laughs> knight d4, he's gonna see it. Bishop takes e4. Bishop takes e4, rook takes e4. Knight takes c2, rook c1, trapping his knight. Yeah, so this was my first inclination. The happy pawn structure. 
because we're not satisfied till we make all of our pawns isolated. The problem is he's got some kind of activity. <laughs> Maybe enough to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's two pawns up. That's so sick. I can't believe I'm not going to win this game. Sick. Sick individual. You're a sick individual. He thought a long time on that and came up with a good move. It's almost certainly enough activity for black to hold on. That's weird. I know I was better. That really sucks. Maybe I can try. Okay, rook d5 doesn't seem right. The end game is not his strong point. Nevertheless, he should be able to hold this. Yeah, I mean, that's the best move, of course. Actually, there's some subtle genius to this, this last move. Um, all right. Smells like a draw. Nice pawn structure. What was the Nigel Short set again? The Nigel Short quote. Modern chess is too concerned with things like pawn structure. Now I'm worse. Well, what am I trying to do? Like lose? I'm trying to lose. That's totally lost my mind. It's unbelievable. Wow, that's a neat move.
I'm going to lose. That's not the right move, is it? E4 check? Maybe it is. Look at the technique we're coming on here, dude. Check his technique out. Where did this come from? My king is cut off. Oh my god, another good move. He's like busting me with perfect technique now. Not quite. Oh my god, another good move. No way. Holy shit, dude. Where did this come from? It's like a Philly cheesesteak. God damn it. That that works. Are you freaking kidding me? Where did this come from? What? Thanks for the input. Wow. You think King C1 was an error? Thank you. Thank you. The table base thanks you for that. That was very accurately... Very accurately... Uh, announced. No, but I didn't, I didn't realize I was getting mated. I don't have a table base. And I, I forgot I could, like, sack my rook and go active. After King C3, I have to sack my rook to stop the pawn, probably. But I can still go go up and then like go down with my pawn and force him to sack his rook. But I didn't think it was necessary. So without a table base, I wasn't sure that it's lost or not. Really bad, bad um, game by me. Five, six blunders. 
and I never even had the most tiny advantage ever. He made one inaccuracy and five blunders. Maybe we should restart, rethink this whole blunder inaccuracy thing. I mean, is it really possible there's one inaccuracy and five blunders? Over 11, too late. I gotta go, guys. I'll see you later. Good games. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.